This is a 2011 Honda CBR125R rear wheel and I just finished uh, adjusting the chain tensioning mechanism here on both sides of the wheel and I still have my 17mm uh, wrench on the other side. I'm ready to tighten the axle but before I do I'll show you which lines on the adjustment indicator uh, line up with which lines on the other side and this is going to be a close-up with the camera removed from the stand and Come on in for an extreme close-up Thereabouts is good. Just wait for the camera to focus So this is the line My re reference line that uh, happens to uh, give me a good indication and this edge on the swing arm here where the swing arm here in the middle is cut Oops, cut open here. There. I can see the position of this line and the exposed amount of metal in front of it, right here where the needle is. So don't worry about the wobbly washer because, uh, and uh, which line the washer lines up, it's inconsequential and irrelevant. That is the uh, surface that you need to watch. This part here on the swing arm and one of these lines or the distance between the lines whatever is exposed from this edge on the black swing arm okay and it has to be the same on the other side come on around here and uh, that's the same line there just right on the edge of the cutout portion in the middle of the swing arm here like I said, this this big washer is wobbly. Don't worry about it. Don't. It doesn't matter where the edge of this big washer is. Okay. You have to watch where the adjustment mechanism and the axle is inside the uh, swing arm here. Okay. And I, uh, other than the lines, you can do one more thing. I. Uh, often use a square like that and I'm not measuring anything with it I'm using it for referencing so I make sure that the stock this is the stock on the square is lined up with the end of the bolt and the corner of the blade this is the blade is hitting the counter nut this is the 10 millimeter counter nut and uh, once I have this measurement here, uh, but like I said, it doesn't matter what measurement it is, it should be exactly the same distance on the opposite side, just like so. There, you can see that it's, it's the same. There, from the end of the bolt to the, uh, to the counter nut. And now we're ready for the torque wrench because I just verify that the adjustment is correct. Just wait for the camera to focus and uh, put your 17mm wrench on the uh, left side of the bike and the 22mm wrench on the, on the uh, torque wrench. Uh, the specified torque is uh, 51 uh, pounds foot. I know I said pounds foot. Most of you might uh, call it foot pounds. The correct name is pounds foot. Okay, so there's 51 is set. You can see it on the handle. I tighten it. There's a little uh, lock mechanism at the end. And this sound, this sound is just the it's just a ratcheting sound. It is not the uh, actual uh, operation of the wrench for referencing torque. The referencing will also be a click, but it's going to be a different click. So you're going to have to listen carefully. I'm just picking up the slack on the uh, on the thread and listen for one loud click there don't rotate the torque wrench any further than that okay at this point we have 51 uh, pounds foot of uh, 
torque on this uh, self-locking uh, nut and it's been properly tensioned we can go back to the other side to see how much sag I adjusted or uh, I allowed for the chain there between 25 and 35 mils it's done and that's how to use a torque wrench